Hey folks, it's Lord Zorblad here, and I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm dovetailing uh, another yet another tutorial onto the last one. So yeah, if you have any questions, things you want tutorials about, just hit me up. Um, so I'm just going to do random things that I think are useful. So this one's going to be how to select multiple objects. So what I'm doing is I'm going through here, and this is <clears throat> another more complicated thing, but I'm connecting all these hexagons. See this little line here? I'm connecting all these hexagons with rods. And then I wrote a script that will replace the rods with bridges. Let's let's see if that actually works. Um, sorry, sorry to be so, what's the word? Um, taking the long way to grandma's house. But I think, you know, you can Google this stuff and find instructions for it. Um, but I think I, I provide a little bit more. Um, I just tell you a bunch of weird stuff that's helpful. So learn to read. Oh, check out that music. Can't make that. Kent's got some skills. All right, so did you see that? I made all those weird hexagons. I turned all the rods into bridges with some magic. Um, and this is just a project I'm working on right now. Um, and so I thought I'd stop and make a video. I'm not the kind of person that meticulously plans their videos. Don't know if you can tell. So here's the deal. It's kind of hard to um, it's kind of hard to see those rods. So I'm like, wait, did I do that one? Did I do that one? Um, so I make them fat. Um, so what I need to do is I click on every single one of them and make them fat. Who's got the time for that, right? <clears throat> so welcome to selecting multiple objects at once. This is going to change your life. Click on this plugin. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. If I forget, just uh, put a comment. I'll put it in. So now I'm just going to type rod, k, which is all you need to get all the rod constraints. Boom, look at that. It selected, not only did it find all the rod constraints, like if you go out, if you do Command Shift X, you can type rod constraint and it'll find them all, but it's not going to select them all. Um, this, this, this plugin, which is so awesome, if you select the plugin, you can use the plugin and you can type rod k, select objects, and now it's actually selected them all. Woohoo! And I'm just going to say, I want them all to be watched. Keep your eye on them. Thickness 16. Boom. Now I can see them. <clears throat> um, and I don't actually use the rods. I just have a script that says, hey, go find a rod and uh, replace it with a bridge. If you want, I can teach you how to do that. Um, and I also have a script that says, go find all these hexagons and replace them with like my, my fancy hexagon. Um, and there's, there's reasons that I'm doing it this way, which I can go into. Anyways, you know, subscribe, thumbs up, all that stuff. Um, happy building. Oh, wait, <laughs> one more thing. Um, yeah, so this one's also really cool. This is called Part Picker. Let's go to Part Picker. And don't just go Google these and or don't go to try to download these off the uh, Roblox site. There's just, it's infested. It's just like a swamp of viruses out there. So put a comment. I'll, I'll put the link and I'll, I'll link you to the right one because these, <clears throat> these dummies, they, uh, they copy like a well-known plugin and they put a virus in it and then they like do some sort of thing to get a lot of upvotes and then you download that and then it, I don't know what it tries to do, backdoor your project or something like that. Look at this one. All right, so we want to pick a part. So now I get to pick a part. Ooh, do I want that one? Do I want this one? Or do I want that one? Let's do the diagonal one. And now it's like, here are all the ones that match this set of criteria. And then I could be like, well, I actually only want the ones that have a reflectance value of blah, blah, blah. And it would further filter my search. Very, very cool. And then you say like run filters, 271 found. Um, amazing, super useful stuff. Saves you time from having to just click on a billion little parts. Um, all right. I swear that's the end.